faded. <laughs> I know you're taking drugs, Kokoran. Why take such a risk? I need it to endure the long shifts. We have no idea how long the epidemic will last. We can't let it win. For God's sake, what are you thinking? How can you be so irresponsible? Irresponsible? I am devoted to my work. I am doing this for all the patients who need our help. I cannot abandon them. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. I know you're taking drugs, Kokor. I need it. For God's sake, what are you thinking? Irresponsible. Goodbye, Doc. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doc. Tell me, Nurse, did you know Dr. Tippetts was addicted to medication? I suspected this behavior for some time, but never dared to ask him about it. Until the day he confessed to me. Do you approve of his addiction? Of course I don't approve. But I understand he needs it to fight the exhaustion. Let's hope he'll stop injecting himself once the epidemic is over. And what if he doesn't? Then we'll have to convince him to stop. I believe he's still in control of his addiction, for now. But we must remain vigilant. Why would he confess to you about his addiction, Nurse Brannigan? Don't you know you doctors can't hide anything from a nurse? We're always there. Even if you don't notice us. Do you consider yourselves our confessors, Nurse Brannigan? I wouldn't dare, Dr. Reed. But I'm intrigued. How did you discover Dr. Tippett's secret? What can I say? I seem to have a knack for discovering secrets. And for hiding them as well. Goodbye, Nurse. Good evening. Do you require medical assistance, nurse? I will be fine, as soon as I can get some sleep. I will see you later.
Good evening. Good evening. Do you require medical assistance, nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Nurse, you won't... I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Goodbye. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to sh- Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Yes, indeed. But don't worry, I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. I have no doubt about it, but you are still ill all the same. Please, take this medicine. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Reed. To be honest, I just did not take the time to diagnose myself. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You're doing your rounds as usual. Do you need medical... Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, I've got that fear in London now. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You are wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I'm certain you have your reasons. But let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. It is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Goodbye. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. You should show respect for the dead. What about their loved ones who may treasure these items you sell? The bodies I watch over are the unwanted and undesired, sir. I would never deprive anyone of their family artifacts. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Very hard, sir. But I rose to the challenge. Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, 
I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chidana. It was a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy not to deal with the wounded. I prefer caring for the dead now. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Do you need medical attention? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company, even if the quiet can be appreciated. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease. And that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. It's locked.
It's locked. I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. It's locked.
It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. I cannot enter.
Are you worried about the conditions in London? I, I've heard rumours about some sort of militia patrolling, killing the sick. The wet boot boys are overrun. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. What's your... I take care of my mum. You seem upset. I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Goodbye, miss.
Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. 